All right, let's say I've got lithium acetate here. We're doing number one. I'm assuming at this point, all right, that you can look and see that lithium on your periodic table is a plus one charge. Yes. You simply look. It's lithium. It's an alkali metal. They're all plus one. Now, acetate is a polyatomic ion. So you look it up on your ion chart. You find that it's C2H3O2. It's got a negative one charge. Now, Plus one, negative one. Do those cancel out? Woo. They do. You just need one of each. So all you do is just write lithium, then C2H3O2. So lithium acetate. That's it. What? A regular negative would be like a negative one. Oh my God. <laughs> now, yeah, hello. Do you No, that's what I'm, no, you don't. Shh. Now, you don't have to put this polyatomic ion in parentheses because you've only got one of them. If you had more than one, you'd have to put it in parentheses. What do you mean? Well, if you let's say you needed two acetates to balance this out. Since you only have, you only need one, you don't need to. Uh, the other thing, notice that I do not write the charge anywhere. You will never write the charges in the final formula. All right? Next, let's do uh, let's just do number two. So that's iron, and then phosphate. Now I'm assuming you can figure out that's iron and phosphate's off your ion chart. It's PO4. Now on your ion chart, PO4 phosphate is a negative three charge. Iron, and here's the thing: this Roman numeral right here. And this is a question a lot of you are going to ask me if you don't listen to this. That. Roman numeral 2 indicates that this iron is iron 2. That is, it has a positive 2 charge. That's what the Roman numeral tells you, is the charge on the transition metal it is after. So, really simply here now, you've got a positive 2 and a negative 3. How many irons do you need to cancel out that? So, so look what I did. You've got two and a three here. Obviously, if you put two irons, then you got four. That doesn't cancel out the three. So you need three irons and two. Um, yes. Now, what we did, you've got positive six now because you've got two plus two plus two. You've got negative six because negative three plus negative three is negative six. Plus 6 and negative 6 cancel out. They're neutral. That's 0. So you're going to write it like this. Fe3, because you've got 3 of them. And then you're going to write PO4. And now you put it in parentheses and put the 2 there. Like we did the other day. Yes, just like we did the other day. You're never going to write the charges ever. No charges. Is phosphate like... It's PO4. The whole thing is PO4. Without, if, it, if it was like PO3 or something, it'd be a different element. It'd be like or a compound. It'd be like phosphite or something. All right. Um, now, shh, let's do number uh, number nine. This is giving giving people tons of trouble. Number nine. Manganese is MN, arsenide is arsenic, okay? That's AS. Now, I know I can look at my periodic table. Arsenic's a minus 3. I mean, if you don't believe me, it's right there. Minus 3. Manganese, this tells us, is plus 7. Now, why is it plus 7? That's not It's not. That's right. So this is that's what this is telling you. Now, what is the least common multiple we can get out of these two? Uh, 21, right? So let's look at this. Manganese, you can get it to 21 by making, writing three of them in. How many, I'm not going to write out all this. How, how many arsenics do you need? Seven, yeah. 
Now, there's a little trick here. If you have a lot of you've picked up on this, some of you haven't. <clears throat> Notice how all I did was take this charge and I wrote it down there as a subscript. <laughs> I took this charge and wrote it down there as a subscript. Okay. I basically crisscrossed. Crisscross. If you want, you can start doing it because now you understand why we're doing this. So that way, then will save you a lot of time. Yeah. I didn't cross off. I was showing where how you crisscross it. Oh. Do you have to put this one in for the Nope. Sure. Yep. It's not a polyatomic ion. Huh? Not, yeah, you knew all. It's not a polyatomic ion, so you know. Now, shh. Last thing. The very last thing here that I would like you to remember. You will never write these things in the final answer. There will never be a Roman numeral in the final formula answer. A lot of people first hour wanted to do this. You don't write Roman numerals in the formula. You only do that when you're writing the name. So if I were to tell you go from this to the name, then you would write the Roman numeral, but right now you don't. Okay, just a little thing. 